Hello, hello, and welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And today I wanna to talk about the top three energy practices that you can do when results seem to be missing. <laughs> If we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller. I'm an intuitive energy guide, a spiritual life coach, and what I call an energy alchemist. I have been working with visionary and empaths for over 20 years, helping them trust their gut instincts to make profitable actions, to know when to let go and when to hang on. And that, that's what I wanna bring to you today. So diving into this topic, this has been coming up a lot with my one-on-one -on -one clients as they are pursuing different pathways at work, in their jobs, and also in relationships. You know, what to do when the results just aren't showing up, especially when you're pouring all of your time and energy and love into a project and nothing seems to be happening. Maybe it's a workout plan and you're like, oh my gosh, I've been cutting the calories and you know, watching what I eat and upping the exercise and nothing's changing. Heck, sometimes even the scale goes up. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> um, I have uh, clients right now that have experienced that, but things shift over time. And it's that moment of not falling into Oh, frustration and kicking yourself if you let go too soon. I've got a funny story about skiing. Skiing and learning how to drive a standard, there's no forgiveness if you let go too soon on a hill. <laughs> and it could appear like it's totally flat, but goodness gracious, you feel those hills. And then there's the frustration of hanging on too long, you know, beating yourself up saying, why did I stay in that relationship? Why did I stay in that job? You know, there were signs when I look back, I should have left, What what was going on? This is why I've developed this particular energy recipe that I call Hail a Cab. Because <laughs> here's the thing, when we are looking to find guidance, uh, really to know, you know, do I hang on? Where are these results? Is it time to shift pathways? It's important to, how do I wanna say this? Tune into your higher self, yes, but also your angelic support team, you know, your angels and your guides who have that idea and understanding of the bigger picture of why you're here. I do believe we all come in with a soul plan of what our spirit, our soul hopes to experience in this lifetime. And it's nice to kind of check in with you know, the team members who know who know the path and plan because we, we don't remember. So the first thing, I call this hail a cab, I love being cheeky and coming up with these fun, playful acronyms because it's a way for us to remember easily when everything hits the fan. And that first C represents checking in. So when you don't see those results and you're frustrated and it's like, wait a second, you know, what do I do? Do I let go? Do I hang on? Check in with your gut. The way that I love to do this is to do what I call the root flush fill energy I practice and it's in the link above. You can just click that and that little energy bot I have will take you to that free gift that I share. But this practice, what it does is it flushes out everybody else's opinions because, you know, a lot of times when we're looking for results, we'll check in with other people outside ourselves. Like, hmm, you know, I, I've been following the eating plan. I've been exercising, but the scale's not moving. How about for you? Are, are, are you noticing results? Is anything changing or moving? And they might say, ah, oh, yeah. Or they might tell you, oh, you know what? The first time you do this, you're going to see a major weight loss <laughs> or drop once you get to week two. So don't get frustrated, even if the weight goes up. It's nice to have that external check-in. But more often than not, what ends up happening is that other people's experiences are different than ours. And it comes through the filter of their life experience and their opinion, what's happened to them. So when I talk about checking in, what I invite you to do is rinse out, wash out, let go of everybody else's advice and opinions so that you can really hear with great clarity what your heart is trying to tell you or to tune in to that angelic guidance. The second part of this, the A, is the attitude. 
Now the attitude here, it centers around expectation of results. Sometimes our expected results block growth. It's kind of like watching a pot. And I always say a watched pot never boils. Have you heard that term? <laughs> I love idioms, by the way. If you do too, let me know in the comments below. I drive my little girl nuts with them. Like, hold on to your horses, you know, cat got your tongue. <laughs> but it makes it playful. So that attitude, the expected results, Sometimes those expectations can really block growth. And there's a wonderful story uh, that is told often by one of my teachers, and I, I wanna share it with you quickly, but it's a story about the person who wants corn for dinner. And maybe you've heard this. If you have, let me know in the comments below. But one day this wonderful person wakes up bright and early in the morning and they decide, we'll call him Joe. Joe wants corn for dinner. So he thinks, hmm, okay, that sounds like a great idea. Let me go in my drawer because I know I have some seeds for corn. And so he opens up his little packet of seedlings and he goes into his backyard and he takes a little seed, some cord corn seedlings, tongue twister, and he plants them in the earth and he loves them during the day, watering them, making sure they have fertilizer, it's out in the sunshine. And once he's convinced that they are all nice and nestled in the earth, he goes inside and he goes to work. And around lunchtime, he comes out and he thinks, I'm gonna check on the progress, the growth of this corn. And as he goes out, he's looking at the dirt and he still sees a dirt patch. And he's frustrated because he thought, surely by now I should have seen at least a little green budling or, or something, some kind of change. And he goes inside and he comes back out that in the afternoon, still nothing, a dirt patch. Well, now he's been looking forward to corn all day for dinner and he's hungry as all get out. And as he goes out around dinner time to look for the corn, there's still nothing but that dirt patch. So there's a lot going on beneath the surface, a lot of shift and change, but it's not being seen yet. So there's the factor of time and what's hidden, all that growth that's happening, but we just can't see it yet. So sometimes our expected results are a little off the mark. And when you take that moment of saying, hmm, okay, where are my results? Let me take a moment to just pause. And the energy practice that I like for this to kind of cultivate that patience to know, do I hang on or do I let go? is the attitude of gratitude. We start to notice the blessings in our life. We start to give thanks for our health or our strength or for the job that we do have or um, access to particular resources or just simply a beautiful sunny day. Now, the final part of this is the B. This is the belief. This is that aspect of faith. It's called cultivating the garden of your heart. Many times, you know, past experiences can hold us back from kind of, uh, how should I say, opening our heart and trusting that the blessings are on their way. It's kind of like, oh, I've been down this road before. I know what's going to happen. Kind of goes back into those expectations. But it feeds um, our ability to have faith in the moment and say, you know what? I have a trusted formula that I'm using in this moment in time. I've seen that it's given others results. I've checked in, I've made sure that I'm listening to my heart. I'm not letting other people's opinions sway me. My attitude of like expectations and what I expect, that's honed in. You know, I, I checked back in and I realized, okay, corn takes weeks to grow. <laughs> Having it for dinner when I plant it in the morning is, is a little bit of rushing the timeline. And then finally, that belief saying, you know what? I'm going to feed my spirit and strengthen my faith that if I do my practice, all is coming. It's a very famous quote from the yoga tradition. And I love going back to that because there's something to that. We show up day in, day out, and it's not, we don't always realize how much we've grown. It's kind of like kids. You know, if we're living with small kids, you know, we know they're growing over time, but then they see a relative they haven't seen in months or a year, and the relative is like, oh my gosh, you've grown so much. You're a giant. You must have grown a foot. There's a big difference. So give yourself that moment of grace and compassion and feed your spirit, cultivate the, the faith that as you do your practice, all is coming. So just as a quick recap, uh, when it comes to the top three energy practices to, to um, <laughs> on what to do when results aren't showing up, when they seem to be missing, I call it my energy recipe, hail a cab. 
The first part is the C. Check in. Check in with your spirit. Make sure you're on the right path. And the energy practice for that's in the link above. Just click that. That'll help you. Next thing, the attitude. What are the expected results? Where is your attitude in this whole journey? And then B, the belief. When it comes to belief, take a moment to feed your spirit. And if you're looking for ways to feed your spirit, come and hang out in my free Facebook group. There's a lot that we do there to feed our spirit, to practice what I call soul care or spirit care. And we'd love to have you join us and click the link above for that too. My energy bot will offer and extend the link and the invitation to that. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hello, Bev. So glad that you made it live. Hello, hello, Pamela. Great to have you. I hope you all have a magnificent day wherever you are, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye, guys.